Medial meniscal ramp lesion repair through anterior portals using an MCL pie crusting technique. We authors have no financial conflicts to disclose. A 29-year-old male visited the outpatient clinic for left knee pain after a fall from height during climbing. There was complete ACL tear and complex meniscal tear on MRI. Routine arthroscopic examination is done using the anteromedial, anterolateral, and superomedial portals. To confirmatively show the ramp lesion, additional posterior medial portal is made, which is not necessary in our technique. Suspected ramp lesion could also be examined with posterior medial visualization by diving the arthroscope deep into the notch between the PCL and the medial femoral condyle. Typically by standard anterior portals, ramp lesion is not fully exposed as it is covered by medial femoral condyle and sufficient space for the repair is not secured. In this case, additional longitudinal meniscal tear is observed. The probe from anterior medial portal could examine the ramp lesion by pulling, but medial femoral condyle blocks the fine manipulation. Medial compartment release was done with multiple pie crusting technique for MCL and valgus position at 15 degrees flexion with manual assist. After checking surface anatomy, multiple needling on superficial MCL is done with a spinal needle. In the process of puncturing, we can monitor whether the needle tip penetrates into the capsule. Surgeons should take care not to injure menisco-capsular junction and saphenous nerve and vein. And under the surveillance of the scope, sufficient medial compartment releasing could be confirmed, and at the same time, excessive widening could be avoided. As a result, ramp lesion can be fully visualized from anterolateral portal, and probe or fast fix needle from anteromedial portal could approach to the posteromedial menisco capsular junction without any other help. All repair procedure was done with the fast fix 360 menisco repair system. It is introduced through the anteromedial portal over a slotted cannula to avoid lodging of soft tissues. The first needle is fired at posterior capsule and the second one is fired on meniscus body. The suture is then tightened and we observe the gap made by ramp lesion is approximated. The stability of repaired lesion and necessity of additional suture is evaluated. Additional suture is done for more desirable fixation with about 7 mm interval from previous suture. Repaired lesion is examined again and confirmed it is stable with proper tension. In this case, additional suture for longitudinal meniscal tear is also done with FastFix suture device. Repaired lesion is examined again and confirmed it is stable with proper tension. To show repaired state, arthroscope is advanced through posterior medial portal and well-reduced ramp lesion is confirmed. After that, ACL reconstruction was done. At post-operative three months, no valgus instability is observed compared to pre-operative radiograph.